In this video, we will explore file associations. In computing, file association is called the association of a file type with an application capable of opening that file type. Types of files are usually determined by their file name extension, and one can manually define an association for a file type. Now let's see how it works. In our case, Jeff files are associated with Drawings Pro. So if you double click on a Jeff file, it is loaded in Drawings Pro. Jeff files are embroidery files that are suitable for Janome embroidery machines, but Jeff files can also be created or edited using various software products besides Drawings Pro. When installing Drawings Pro, you're asked if you wish to associate supported files to Drawings Pro. If you use any other software for viewing or editing Jeff files, you may select to associate only Draw files to Drawings Pro. If you have assigned all supported file types to Drawings Pro, but wish to load them using another software, you may later associate manually each file type to the software you want. You may change the association through File Explorer. Navigate to a folder containing embroidery files, for example these Jeff files. Right-click on any of these files and from the right-click menu go to Open with the option. You can use any of these options to open this file with an alternative software just this time. But if you want to change the association, go to Choose another app. Notice that in order to make an association, you need to check the option Always use this app to open Jeff files. If the software you're looking for is not on the list, click on the More Apps option. Scroll on the list to locate it. And if you still can't find it, use Look for another app on this PC. Now you need to browse to the folder that the software is installed. Locate the .exe file and open it. And now the .jeff file is loaded with my editor software and an association is indeed created. Likewise, you can associate any file type you like to any software you like. The icons for the Jeff files have now changed, and if you double-click on any of them, it is loaded in my editor software. 